waiting for. Do it. Hi guys, welcome back. This is 2300 Gaming again with another King of Fire All Star content. So in this video, oh my gosh, man, this is gonna be. I feel like this is one of the hardest content for King of Fire All Star. It's hard, but it's challenging at the same time. So people are asking for new content, and we got it, okay? But like, it's again depending on your preference. On what level can you clear with this new content called Devil Boss Gym Challenge? So um, before further ado, so we're gonna be making lots of tips on this content we're gonna be going to be this is gonna be part one we're gonna be diving in on bit by bit on how we do things okay so again if new players can't do this okay you cannot level 30 this okay shout outs to snow for clearing this one using m bison at a3 i'm gonna be telling you why m bison is able to cheese this guy because like if you go to snow's uh, video um, I'm gonna post a link on the description like I've observed why is M. Bison really really needed in this and it's because of his S2 okay his S2 teleports to the other side and always remember if you're facing Devil Jin I'm gonna make you a clip I'm gonna make a clip of this one of my run but like I'm not gonna putting it on max setting because it's really difficult for me okay I, I tried my best putting in lots of my combinations putting in uh, my characters up to level 30 like this floor 30 challenge 30 but it's not gonna be working on my favor because my account my, i'm not a whale so i'm free to play so technically i don't have an a3 m bison unfortunately i'm still trying to get an ss memory for that to get to a3 and even with that you need a very fast fingers and i think if you're playing in pc or in emulator you can do this one much more precise okay because the semi-auto prevents you from doing it on your own okay because there's lots of things to talk about here and i'm just giving and pointing out things that m bison as you can see in youtube videos out there can easily do this one but you need to be precise with your actions okay so in this challenge there's like lots of things here see as you can see there's like options here there's like you there's dot there's awaken there's roll forward um, there's your HP bar there's your PG rate gain there's your you can use your auto or not this is gonna be the stun or groggy state this is gonna be the speed of the enemy and the last one the last one the heart one he accumulates damage and then releases it see stores 50% of the boss damage and receive as temporary damage and then when he's um, when he inflicts damage he recovers hp so that's crazy so this guy is really op but if you tone it down again it all starts from this is gonna be devil jin boss challenge 101 okay so you can you can see current challenge level is zero right so you will be the one putting in the challenge of like how can your account face this guy moving forward okay so if you're new if you're new you like just try to like uh, put put hp put hp and that's it you're at level four so again with the difficulty the hardest difficulty will get you to this one 1000 rubies and on the 29th tier you're gonna get a change up kit so this is gonna be really really insurmountable because guys this one is equivalent to three main memories for your character so it's it means that if you get a change change up kit for huwarang classic warang so it's equivalent to three of them okay so if you want uh, nina classic you get three of them that's equivalent of one change up kit and really really important if you have alicia then you're set you're set guys you're set if you get alicia because she's an ss character right so alicia Boskonovich is an ss fighter if you get her in one pool that's it okay don't pull for her again wait for your inferno nine boxes for an ss generic memory and then you can fuse her, awaken her to A3, and then use this change up kit to EX her. Okay, that's just my advice. Okay, and then there's lots of things to be had here. There's option cards, there's Nina coins for you to summon EX Nina. And I'm gonna be talking about those characters and why are they really, really important in this coming up meta. And again, Netmarble is really kind enough and they're really good. They planned this one ahead that in this content, okay, these fighters for the Tekken collab, especially EX Nina. Okay, EX Nina is really, really a good character here, I feel. 
Okay, I feel I got her first. I want her to A3. Um, let's see. I want her to be at A3 and then I'll try to cover that one for you guys. Okay, so that's gonna be all of the rewards up there. So it's up to you what kind of challenges you're up against. So usually, if you're a whale, okay, if you're a whale, this would be your lineup, okay? So, boss starts with ultra armor because if you put this one at 2, it becomes 40 seconds, okay? That's gonna be crazy. You can be, you can do it at 20, okay? And then dot 2, okay? That's gonna be 99%. Decrease the boss's burn, poison, bleed, starlight damage received by 99%. Or, you can decrease that to... 79% it's all up to you but like this usually is the lineup for the whales so this is gonna be the setup for you guys so chop 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 semi-auto always have semi-auto and yeah that's usually what they do okay so that's your whale lineup to reach current level 30 okay because like it decreases your dot you cannot even out oh, like it will decrease the damage for 90% for 13 seconds when your fighter uses an awakened skill so after 13 seconds all of the damage will be coming up to him okay so that's okay the other one would be the decreased fighters HP by 7% every roll forward so it will decrease your HP and then your HP here would be at 80% it's really small that's why you can see um, snow's video i've observed that like snow's video shout out to snow for making it uh easier for us to giving us an outlook on how to why is it really important to point out that m bison can really cheese that okay oh uh, as you can see he's already at 80 percent of his life and then he's trying to clear it and then pg gain this pg gain again guys that's why i'm telling you to future proof your account okay future proof your account because Again, future proofing your account is really really important because that even though you don't have a PG gain, this will give you a PG gain. Okay, this will give you a PG gain, the Cronin set card and the Shermie set card because of this one. Because the tier Where is the come on bro? This one, okay? 30% chance to charge up 5 power. Okay? So this would be the one that helps you out. And then after that, when you awaken. Um, you can be very very fast okay and then Cronin set as well so I'm putting Cronin set on this guy as well again the Cronin set also has that ability to give you again an instant instant PG gain 5 PG gain okay and that would be also applicable there's gonna be also another card the Tekken set card guys those three cards are really important okay you can put the Shermie set on your balance or defense you can put your Cronin set on a defense fighter to get those CP, but it doesn't really matter if they're defense or whatever. As long as you get that 5 PG, it's still okay. They're not going to be benefiting from the CP gain, but still, the 5 PG gain, everybody will benefit. Okay, You don't really need to put it into, like uh, for example, the Cronin set. It's for defense, right? Because it increases the defense of your CP characters to like 36,000. But if you put it on an attack type, he can still benefit from the PG gain from the third skill, okay? Don't limit yourself on only putting in defense type fighters, okay? So, because like, whatever you want, whatever you have, you need to try your best to put in whatever needs to be means necessary to clear and content. So, you need to like mix and match and try to experiment. So, you can still use those cards even though it's not really a defense or balance. You can put it in an attack type fighter as long as he will still benefit from the third set card's ability. Okay? And this card set, guys, it's really important as well because this one increases a lot of CP. And also the third skill. This one, look at this. Okay? Charge 5 power slots upon landing an active skill. Okay? So, he has the same ability as the Cronin and the Shermie set so having those three makes it like a three character roster for you to put in Devil Jin to face Devil Jin so those three characters that you're gonna be putting in your roster if you have this card would make your life much more easier facing Devil Jin the boss battle okay so that's just my advice and also that's it okay and that laser beam you need to avoid especially when you're at this option because his laser beam insta kills you Okay, it's either you roll 
That's why M. Bison is there. He teleports at the back using his second skill or you can awaken to cancel that or you can roll forward but that would really decrease your HP as well. So those are things to think about. Okay. So again, EX Nina, I'm, I can't wait for her to be A3 and then I'll be tackling this guy up until level 30. But like, I feel like I can do this one at level 25. I think level 25. And I'll give you an update on what will happen on the next iteration that I'll be getting. Okay, so I'll remove. So I can do it like this. Um, I might remove the life. I can remove the life bar. So I can remove the PG. Wait, wait, let's remove the PG. So we're still at 28. So let's remove this one. So 27. So I can remove uh, HP. So it's gonna be like that. And then let's remove the dot here. Let's put in one dot. So I can go to 20. Okay, so what I did, because the ultra armor is really hard to deal with, so I removed that ultra armor and then the dot instead of 99%, it's only 79. And then the problem is when I awaken, it decreases the damage by 90%. And if I do a forward roll, it will decrease my HP to 70. But at least my life is much more bigger because the fighter starts with 40% instead of 80. Okay, and the PG gain, maybe decrease by 45, will remove that. Okay, so it's gonna be 20%, uh, level 20. So again, it's all up to you, mix and match it. And let's go dive into how I do this Devil Gin. Okay. So as you can see now, I've finished that very easily using my characters and using those uh, 
two set cards which is the Shermie and the Cronin set card, okay? So again, I'm mixing and matching. It all depends to you. So you need to break those, like, without this Ultra Armor, you can easily break his guard, okay? Like, without the Ultra Armor, but even without the Ultra Armor, you need multiple hits to break him, to, like, knock him out of the corner. So all of the characters... And Bison does that really well. He breaks the guard and makes him like a uh, juggle. So that's M. Bison. You can also use Luke because of the multiple hits. Um, not that quite, but like he can cool, like he has lots of cooldown on his like kit. So he can most likely do that as well. You can use it with Lady Choi because he, she has multiple hits. Leona, Nameless, lots of characters using multiple hits. So you can do that, but like mainly M. Bison can really do it because of. His really good skill too. I'm still thinking of a character that can teleport at the other side of the enemy. Because like Devil Jin, if all if it's on a whale setting, this I call this one the whale setting. Okay, a whale setting. <laughs> this is gonna be your whale setting, guys. If it's gonna be a whale setting. So if this would be your whale setting, you need M Bison here as good as A3. I tried M Bison at A1, it's really hard because the damage is really low damage is really low but i'm able to finish it like while he's still alive but like it's really hard so shout outs to snow for doing that level 30 showing us why m bison is really needed so again guys wait for ex nina i feel ex nina is gonna be a very very good substitute for m bison when you're facing this one so like plus it's only 20 days remaining so might as well you can a3 nina by that time and we'll see if you can clear it so i'm gonna be giving you more updates so again so boss jin it all depends on your preference so it all depends on your scores here you mix and match mix and match what you need to do and you can also read what it entails us here and how many times like for example if you put in more it will increase more effects on this one that's why it's called the boss challenge okay it's a challenging event it's a challenging <laughs> game mode i'm really happy and hard that, like i'm really having a hard time as usual um, it took me like like the whole day I haven't slept even in the morning just to like uh, try to get to level 30 shout out to everybody on Orochinagi they're really helpful but like comment on the comment section how did you beat this boss so that we can share our thoughts and uh, um, let's get a collective mind out of uh, in the comment section so that we can help people out as well so again this is 2300 gaming and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one peace out bye bye